guys, Garrett over here at Riverbound today. Um, I'll be showing you how to install a fin. You'll just need the fin and toolless fin screw. We'll be showing you on our Infinity Wide Aquatic, which is a great all around board for the lakes and stuff like that around here. Super easy to transport, nice and light to carry. They're awesome boards. All right, so here's your fin with the toolless fin screw. What you're gonna start out by doing is taking that plate off of the screw. So you're gonna take it off. You can take the screw out of the fin. And the easiest way I found is to put the screw back into the plate, a couple threads. So you're just gonna do that like so. You're gonna slide it into the fin box through that middle part. Allows it to go in there. Now you're just gonna place it there. You're gonna unscrew the fin so it comes the screw so it comes back out. Now when you're looking at the fin, you want this part to go in first in the middle. It's gonna go in first and you're gonna slide it towards the back. So that way the fin looks like this. See how it's angled back like that towards the back of the board? That's how you want it. Now you drop the screw through the hole in the fin and you match it up with the hole in the plate. Start screwing and tighten it up. If you're in flat water, you're gonna want the fin a little bit more towards the back of the fin box. If you want a little bit more responsiveness and agility, you want it more towards the front. But since we're here in Arizona and the lakes and stuff, it's pretty flat water calm. We usually want it towards the back. You finish and tighten it up all the way. Just finger strength is fine. You don't need to go crazy with it. You don't wanna destroy your fin box or anything like that, but and there you go. Now your fin won't come out of the fin box. You got it pointed towards the back and you're good to go.